Most of the information in this video has been lifted from Wikipedia. Family Guy Episode 1 Season 1 The Pilot Death Has a Shadow is the very first episode of the popular show which aired in 1998. On December 20th, according to Nielsen ratings, it was viewed by over 22 million United States viewers during its original airing. Interestingly, in the 10th season, there was an episode called Back to the Pilot, which premiered on November 13th, 2011. Brian and Stewie go back in time to the events of Death Has a Shadow. The plot of this pilot begins with Lois Griffin, the mother, preparing dinner. As she does so, Stewie Griffin, the child, can be seen tinkering with his mind control device. However, something rather genius happened. The mind control device is nearing completion. Stewie, I said no toys at the table. Damn you, vile woman! You've impeded my work since the day I escaped from your wretched womb. Peter Griffin, the father, then reveals he's going to a stag party. Lois begs him not to drink, and he promises he won't, of course, after some comical jeers from the family. However, hilariously, the moment Peter arrives at the stag party, Glenn Quagmire, in his very first appearance, convinces Peter to drink. Peter gets so hammered that he falls asleep on the kitchen table in his house, which understandably infuriates Lois, but after some more colorful jeers, he picks himself up and forces himself to go to work. His boss, Mr. Weed, catches him sleeping on the job and yells at him. Peter promises he'll remain attentive, but then instantly falls back asleep, and as a result, the toy factory he works for ships out dangerous toys he was supposed to check. Almost all of the toys include dangerous weapons or medication that children should not get a hold of. And then, the unthinkable. Peter gets fired! At dinner, Peter tells his kids, but keeps it from Lois out of fear for her telling him she was right. He tries different jobs, such as a cereal mascot or sneeze guard, but absolutely blows at them. Brian pressures Peter to tell Lois the truth, but Peter is unable to do it. All he's able to do is call Lois fat. Brian insists Peter look out for his family's welfare, and Peter takes it literally. Peter applies for government welfare. He gets it, and due to a processing error, he receives his first check with $150,000 in it. Instead of reporting it, he tells Lois he got a big raise. He then begins to spend the money on tons of foolish things, like renting the Statue of David, getting mega cosmetic surgery, and building a moat to keep the Black Knight at bay. Unfortunately, Lois is given the next welfare check by the mailwoman, and completely finds out. Peter decides to return the money to the taxpayers directly by throwing them into the Super Bowl stadium from a blimp. The blimp gets shot down, and Peter is arrested. Eventually, Lois finds out and goes to court, still angry at Peter, though. Peter apologizes for not reporting the mispayment from the government, stating he figured the sooner he cashed it, the sooner they'd realize their mistake. Peter then gets sentenced to 24 months in prison, and after Lois gives a heartfelt speech, she is sentenced to prison with him. Stewie then uses his mind control device to get them all out of jail, and Peter gets his job back at the toy factory. All in all, this episode shows off just exactly what was great about the original Family Guy. They had great jokes, the hand-drawn animation was charming, and the episode was creative. They didn't have to rely on explaining jokes to pad out the runtime, use tired old jokes, or lazy ideas. Everything was fresh and hilarious in the early seasons. I'm going to give this episode an 8 out of 10, as it is, all in all, a great episode. Uh, oh, what, what is happening? <laughs> this is funnier than the time I baited a bunch of people into watching an iDubbbz drama video that actually turned out to be a video about Family Guy. See you guys in the next episode of Family Dad. <laughs>